Hey, what's going on? I've stepped out of the driving sim today to introduce you to my beautiful, beautiful baby. It's a BMW Z4 20i S Drive. And um, it's as well, let me show you. So, this is what it looks like at the moment. This one right here is a 2013 model, which means it's actually 11 years old. And you know what that means? Things are gonna start breaking very, very shortly. So, I've owned the car now for six years, which means I bought it when it was five years. And the main reason why I bought this car, believe it or not, was to start a YouTube channel. And uh, I got scared and shy, and I didn't want to be in public holding the camera. And yeah, we are in public right now, and I'm holding the camera. This is crazy. But yeah, this is the first video I'm doing about this car. Quick information, it's uh, 184 horsepower, uh, zero to 60 in about, I think 6.9 or 7. Point yeah, 6.9 seconds, 0 to 60. And it's rear wheel drive, it goes vroom vroom. That's it, really. Uh, so, as you can see as well, it's a convertible, which means the roof comes down in the summertime and it just transforms the car completely when the roof is down. Like I said, it's now 11 years old and things are happening. Things are going on with it that I'm thinking now is it the time for an upgrade? Guys, I need you to help me decide what car to get next because when the bills start coming for this car, I don't think I'm ready to start forking out so much money to fix it. The first things that broke recently that got me scared was the spring in the left corner. So in the UK, you do MOT test to make sure your car is roadworthy. And when I did that, I always done it every year and I've never been scared because why would I be scared, right? But this year, or last year, end of last year, when I did it, uh, it failed. Yeah, because, because of the spring. Then I was actually new to the area that I'm in now. And I don't have a trusted mechanic here. So that got me panicking as well. Like, I don't want to take it to somewhere where they're going to start charging me a stupid amount of money to fix it. I went to a couple of places. The prices was ridiculous. But luckily, I found a place that did it at a very, very good price. And... Um, yeah, I think I've spent about 200 pounds for the spring and the labor, so it was decent. The only other things that I usually change in this car is just the tires. The rear wheels go more than the front wheels because uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know why, but uh, it loses traction sometimes. That's all I'm gonna say about that. This car, the Z4, is the M package, which means it's got some extra, extra things that make it look nicer than the regular ones, such as the 19 inch alloys that we got in the front and the back. And also you got like a splitter type thing at the front. Whatever that guy was saying, he was waffling. He was waffling, doesn't know exactly what he was talking about. So we're gonna address that real quick. What I was trying to say was that the front end, the bumper, to be exact, not the splitter. There's no splitter. Well, well, I th the bumper is completely different in both uh, non M and M packages. So this one on the left, the car on the left here is the uh, just the basic model, and the one on the right is the M Sports one. If you look at the differences, you can just see the grill is completely different. It's got like a different sort of uh, design. The weave is different, and uh, I don't I don't know what this part is, but that is different as well and some of the end part here is more aggressive the, the lip is kind of bigger on the right side and the curve is different as well it's just more menacing let me put it that way it looks more aggressive on the m sport the same sort of applies in the rear end on the right side we've got this m package and the left side we've got the basic model and on the right side you can see it's got like a diffuser it's like a grayish color diffuser at, at the bottom here it completely transforms the look i don't know it just looks more aggressive it looks more interesting where on the left side it's just a plain uh same color bumper back to the video so you get a different steering wheel on the inside um this is the m1 and obviously you got a lot of m stickers everywhere basically the other thing that makes me want to change this car is because recently my sister just got a 2021 i believe mercedes um a class cla actually she got a cla up at the video here where when we went to see it and the interior oh my god the technology everything is new 
but when I step into my own car, it's so outdated. Like I don't even have Apple iPlay. I don't even have the iDrive system. As you can see, let me show you the, you, you can see it's missing in the hole. There's a hole where it's supposed to be. So <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Uh, th so there's no technology that is like fancy technology or anything like that. But I feel like that is distracting anyway, sometimes to, some, to, to, to a certain extent. The interior of this car, I don't feel like it's as bad as the other uh, BMWs. I don't, I don't mind interior too much, but I would like some technology, like some different things. I want Apple, not Apple CarPlay, I want Android Play. Because I'm tired of uh, trying to play music from my phone and it's a challenge. Although the car actually comes with Bluetooth, it only allows you to make phone calls. It doesn't do um, music. So I've ended up getting those, you know, those things you plug in. I don't know what I'm trying to explain it, but you see it right here. That guy. To help me play music when I'm on my long journeys, because I do love my music. Okay, let's talk about the interior. The interior, as you can see, is a two seat. Literally, it's just you and your whoever else you want to put in, in, the, in the passenger side. So it's very, very cozy in here. So let's talk about this. So we've got a hole in there that is supposed to have the high drive system and uh, obviously electronic handbrake with the six speed manual gearbox and uh, obviously cigarette lighter area, which I've got connected my Bluetooth receiver to. Over here, we've got the, uh, we're gonna start from the left side, is the heating system for the passenger side. Uh, we've got the parking sensor, the two controls for the roof. This is to close it and that's to open it. And we've got the start stop, which has not worked in a long time because my battery is very weak. And uh, so yes, it's in, heater control for my driver side and coming up is the radio system from 1965 It's very old but it still works and we've got the climate control uh, it's got dual zone uh, control for the passenger and the driver so you can adjust to wherever you want in BMWs this actually it, it works independently from the climate control so if you want hot hair being blown to your face, you can have it like that. If you want cold, you can have it like that. But at the same time, you can have this at the hottest temperature ever and it would not affect what's coming up at the top. So sometimes when you're driving and it's very cold, you can feel cold and you're wondering why you keep turning this knob is because this one is set separately from that. So you need to, uh, you know, put it to the right temperature out here. Uh, yeah, we've got the hazard and the door lock and all that, da, da, da. Uh, what else? Gl glove box on the left side and a big, big bin on the left, on the corner here, which is on the driver's side as well. And let's drop the roof so I can show you what it looks like with the roof down. I know you probably, you guys probably seen a lot of Z4s with the roof down anyway, because it's old. There's a new, newer generation, which I don't like as much because it's got the, um, the rag top roof, not the hard top. But yeah, this is summertime vibe right now. The roof is down and let's go check it out. And this is what it looks like with the roof down. And the beautiful. Can you actually tell this uh, 11 year old car? People still actually stop me and ask me questions about it. Like I get a lot of thumbs up at red lights and people just trying to understand. F funny enough, it doesn't attract girls. <laughs> That's a big misconception guys. It does not attract girls that don't know about cars. It only attracts men. Plus, I'm uh, almost married anyway, so it's all right that it doesn't attract women. It's okay. It's all good. But uh, yeah, this is it, guys. This is the uh, exterior. Yeah, the roof folds in nicely. Oh, I hear you say, do I have um, boot space since the roof has come down? Let me show you what I get, what I play with once the roof is down. You can still slide items into the boot with the roof down. You can see the roof tucked in nicely this is another problem i'm having is getting cond condensation at the bottom here that's uh, how the old age is old aging look i'll show you another old age sim uh, symptom right here there's things in the glass in the indicator i don't know what it is and how it got there i think it might be the seal that's broken uh, from the jet wash or something but yeah you still get boot space you can put some stuff in there uh, usually you, you need to put things in the boot first put this uh, thing down on it and then you can then retract the roof the question now is what do I do what car do I get I have my eyes on maybe like 240i or a 140i I don't want to get a 140i because that's like a 
I don't know, man. I don't want to offend anybody, but I feel like it, it's more for like younger teenagers that have money. Uh, I'm a broke old man, okay? I may look young, but I'm old. So I don't know what to get. I don't want to get a fat, fat car. Uh, and I, I definitely cannot afford one of those uh, crazy 663 AMG or something like that because that's what I would really want. I would really, really, really like to get like a 63. <laughs> I, I, I can never say it. C63 AMG S, something like that is what would be ideal. But I don't have the money for that at the moment. So what do I get? My dream cars, actually, let's talk about my dream cars. For a long time, it's been the GTR, Nissan GTR. The R35, right? And uh, obviously, it's too expensive to maintain, so we're not doing that. <laughs> My second favorite after that is the 370Z. And this is what the conversation I had when I was buying this car, actually. So when I was about to buy this car, I was looking at a 370. I don't know, aside of a 350, I I'm forgetting that because it's so long ago. I was looking at a 350, but the 350, it looks weird. Uh, it was very old. Definitely, you can see the age in the interior. So I went up a little bit and I said, okay, 370, it's got a six cylinder and uh, I think it was a 3.5 liter engine, something like that. But the tax and the maintenance on that was a lot. I, I ended up with a BMW Z4, which uh, the tax on this car is literally, a, I think about 200 and, I can't remember how much the tax is because I think I do a direct debit for that. I think it's about 200 and, when I bought it, it was about 190, but now it's gone up um, to maybe like 240, something like that, around that price. Um, so yeah, price-wise, it's not very expensive to run. It's very cheap. The only thing is the petrol, it goes. I know it's a two liter, but uh, the petrol still goes. Is it? Oh, by the way, I don't know if I said it right at the beginning. It's a two liter, four cylinder, uh, that produces 184 horsepower. And a lot of people have um, gone to stage one because you can have an additional 80 horsepower to it if you uh, do a stage one, which is tempting to do, but I really don't know many people that have their cars tuned. I don't know if it comes with problems or anything like that. So guys, if you know anything about Z4s, please let me know so I can make this decision and uh, tune it up a little because maybe that will actually rejuvenate my passion and the idea of me keeping this car because there's nothing wrong with it yet so i don't know guys i don't know i don't know and then we're going to be doing more videos about this car uh soon we're going to do like things i like about this car and then things i don't like and all that kind of stuff so that i just maybe in a, in, a, in an effort to convince me to keep it or to sell it so thank you for watching guys i'll see you in the next one peace